Hey, what's up guys? Chris here. In this one, we are going to build a to-do list API using the Django REST framework. So what we're going to do is basically we'll set up the Django REST framework with Django and then we'll be able to use something called view sets and routers to quickly bootstrap an API for a to-do model. So this is going to be like a really short one because the REST framework actually lets us do this like in really no time. <laughs> this is one of the APIs that I'm building. I'll be going into front-end development most, so I want to have some APIs that I can use to show you how to do some things on the front-end. So this is gonna be a quick one. Let's go ahead and build that one. So I'm in my terminal here. If I do a PWD, you can see that I'm in my root. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop. So right here, I'm going to create a folder to contain our project files. So mkdar, I'm gonna call it to do list project. So I'm gonna cd into to do this project. And then here I'm gonna create a virtual environment using PPNV. So if you don't have PPNV, basically it's a, you can think of it as a package telepass manager of virtual environment. So in Python, you probably have already know because by the time you come back to you probably already know that we work in virtual environments just so we can contain our packages of our individual projects together. So if you don't have PPNV, please install it using pip. So you can do pip install pipenv. That will get it. So once you get it, then you can write pipenv install. Actually, you can do pipenv install Django. Also, Django REST framework okay so once you have that just run it so it's gonna create a virtual environment and then it's gonna install Django and the the rest framework into the virtual environment so once this is done we are going to need to activate our virtual environment so you can activate it by running ppnv shell so pip env shell okay so we are in our virtual environment now we are going to need to create a Django project so when we install Django, it comes with Django admin. So we can do Django admin start project. I'm gonna call it to do API. To do API. So if we do an LS, we can see that now we have a to do API. I'm gonna cd into to do API and then open it up in VS Code by doing code. That should bring up my text editor. So now, let me make it bigger. So I'm gonna open up the terminal, the integrated terminal here. So you see it opens up in the virtual environment itself. So if we do an LS, you can see that we have manage.py, which basically enables us to run Python. So here, I can run Python 3, manage.py, run server, and then we should have Django installed, which is here. So now we are going to need to create our to-do app. So what an app is basically, you can think of it as a set of files that manage a set of functionality. So that would be, if you have common related functionality, they be handled in an, in an app. So now we have a to-do and that's gonna be one app. So let's, let's create an app, Python, manage.py, start app. Then we are gonna call this one to-do. Anyway, so I want to use Python 3. For some reason, I have to prefix, post fix it with Python 3. So that creates our to-do app. So you can see we have a new folder with these files. So first thing I'm going to need to do is register the new app in settings.py. So if you don't do this, your migrations won't work. All right, so let me come over here, install apps. Then first I'm going to bring in the REST framework. So REST underscore framework. The other thing is going to be our custom app. So this is going to be to do. All right. So once we have this, we need to set up our model. But I want to first have a URLs with py file, which we already have. No, I want to have it inside the to do app. So it's going to be urls.py. Also, I want to have a serializers.py. All right. So now in the serializers.py, basically I want to set up a class to communicate between our view and our model and tell it what we would want to be represented. If 
from the view. So right here, I'm going to import the erasers. So from REST framework, REST framework, import serializers. So the class is going to be to do serializer. So this is going to inherit from serializers dot hyperlink model serializer. So notice that we can import from model serializer this one, and then hyperlink model serializer basically gives us a URL field for a specific a specific to do item. So that allows us to to like easily quickly navigate the detail view of a to do, and I'll show you that one in the in a while. So now we need basically need to set up some meta information. So here, so we're gonna set up class meta, and here we need to set up a model. So we need to do like something like model equals it's gonna be called to do. We'll create it in a minute. And then we need to set up a fields that we want the to expose from our DB to our view. So here we're gonna set so here what you would do is you would list your your fields that you would want the view to be able to serve. But now we want all of them because we don't have anything special. But if you had something like a password that you would not want to be sending back, you would not include it in this. You'd create a list and not include it. But this will send everything. Alright, so let's import that to do. So from dot to do, no, from dot models, import to do. Okay, so in the models.py, which is here, I'm gonna create a class. So this basically will represent how our database relation would look like. So this is gonna inherit from models.model. So down here, now we can set up our attributes. So the first one is gonna be the title. This is gonna be model. Now we describe it. So this is gonna be model.chaffield. So we can add a max length. So the max length is gonna be like 300. We need like a body or description. I'm gonna call it body. So this is gonna be models.text field, just so they can easily describe they are to do. But anyway, that might not guarantee them doing it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just kidding. So the next thing we're going to have is completed, just so we can keep track of who is being productive, how they are being productive, how many have been completed against how many they they had said they would complete. <laughs> this is going to be models. Dot. Yeah, this is going to be put in field, and we want to set up a default value. So default, which should be false because yeah, you can't complete it before you do it. Makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna save a created that just so we could have a way to <laughs> another alternative to sort them. So this is gonna be models dot date time field. So I'm gonna keep a default value which will be auto add now. But now add this is gonna be true. So every time they create a new to do, we are going to set it to the current time they created that. Makes sense. Yep. So now that we have this. We need to go and set up our view. So in the views.py, right here, we are going to import the view sets. So from REST framework, import view sets. Basically, so what view sets are, they are, they are an alternative to API views, if you've heard of those. And the way they work is they give us a, like a lot of abstraction. So we can only focus on telling it a few information and then it will handle all our common edge cases. So if you think of it, all that we need to do is create, read, update, delete stuff. So view sets come in handy that they are gonna be set up to do like all that. And then they also give us an, a more convenient way of handling our URLs. So we don't even have to worry about matching URLs to use. So I'll show you that one. But now let's set up our, our to-do to -do list. Let's set up our to-do API view. So I'm gonna call it to-do list view so this is going to inherit from view sets dot it's going to be called model view set all right so yeah we need to set up a serializer class so serializer underscore class so this is going to be equal to our serializer class so this is now going to be to do serializer 
let's bring it in so from serializers import to do serializer all right so now once we have this we need to set up a query set so here it's going to be query set so this is going to be now what we want to return so this is going to be to do dot object dot all so this is going to be coming in from our model so from models import to do okay so if you had an authentication system set up and you wanted to query by the current logged in user you would have to override a, a, a method called get query set and that gives you a way to change how this is done anyway but we are going to stick to this so once we are done with this now we need to set up our urls so in the urls.py we are going to need to import the router so from rest framework rest framework import routers so here i'm gonna set up a router this is gonna be equal to routers i'm gonna get a default router and now we can register our view so here you can do router register so basically we are going to register we need to set up a prefix and then the view set itself so you see the routers work closely with the view sets so we are going to set up to do's and this is going to go to views actually you can do view sets equals views dot so let's import our view so from dot import views It's gonna be views dot to do list. So once we have this, we need to define our URL patterns. So in here, we need to define our path. So basically, we are gonna look for the index path, and then we are going to tell the router to basically render these view sets. So we will use the include utility. So include, and we want to do. Let me actually import it. So from Django go to URLs import path include. So we want to tell it to use this is gonna be router dot URLs. Alright, so that should do it. But now we need to wire up our main routing. So in URLs.py, like right here, I'm gonna copy this and now I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have this index route and this is gonna to go to our application URL. So this is gonna be I'm going to, we're also gonna use includes. So this is going to go to the app name, which is to do dot URLs. Let's make sure I import the include. Bring it here. Alright, so now we can test this thing out. So let's run the Python app. So we need to run our migrations first. So let's run that. Make migrations. We need to migrate. Then let's run the application again. So it's up and running. If we click the link, you can see that we come to this Django REST framework browser PI. Now we have our resources. So the one, the first one is to do's, and that's the only one we set up. But there could be more if you've set up more. And then you see if we click on the to-dos, we basically go to the to-do list. So right here, you can see that we're actually making a get request already and we have an empty, an empty array. So if we create some, let's say we create some to-dos, because we want we want to be productive, you can see that we basically create some, and I can keep doing this and create more. So now if we do like a get, so you if we now come back here, you can see that we have many. So this is a get request being done. So now if we go to, so I, that's, remember we used the hyperlink model serializer, serializer, and that is the one that's giving us this, this URL. If we use the model serializer, then we would not be getting this, and we would be getting the ID instead. So this is a good way to navigate even from here. So you can see, you can go to the detail, you can edit all this stuff. Let's say we want this one to be completed. So that becomes completed and then now we can delete it so everything is set up it's working great thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next video bye